Hey, welcome to chapter two in five minute guitar, my totally free online beginner guitar videos. So now that we've got some of the basics down, like just getting in tune, getting our guitar make and making sure that it's like suitable to be played, let's just get into a riff, okay? You'd be surprised that a lot of riffs are really attainable. So we're gonna get into what's classically kind of known as the uh, the first guitar song that people learn when they're just starting to get going. And that's Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. So let's get into the lesson and learn your first guitar riff ever. My name is Will Ripley and this is Campfire Guitar Star. Okay guys, it's time to rock and roll. So we've got an in-tune guitar, we've got a setup guitar, we know the names of the strings, and it's time to learn how to play this thing. So I'm gonna show you the riff, but I'm also gonna show you how to read tab. Maybe you've heard of it, it's, uh, it's short for tablature. And what tab is, is basically um, music reading for guitar players. So it's kind of dumbed down a little bit in a way, because it's, it's really straightforward. It's just numbers and some lines. So, how many strings does the guitar have? That's right, it has six strings. Now, when you count here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six lines. So, the cool thing about tab is that each one of these lines simply represents a string. And so now you know the names of the strings. And if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend getting them memorized because I'm going to be referring to them a ton throughout this video series. So, the one thing that's kind of confusing about tab is that it's kind of like holding our guitars up like this. So, that's the first thing to kind of wrap your mind around, is that, uh, that, yeah, it's kind of like upside down and backwards, kind of. So yeah, just think about having your guitar held up like this. And so, this low string right here is gonna be on this line, right? And that's right, that's the E string. And then moving forward, we've got the A string, the D string, the G string, the B string, and I'm gonna differentiate the two E strings by writing this one as a lowercase e, because as you can see, when we're holding up a guitar like this, we've got our big E and our small E. So, all we have to remember is that it's just like reading a book. It's just like going left to right, and, and so that's the progression, it's just left to right, just like we're reading a book. And all we're gonna insert on the lines are numbers. So now, say here's our line. The numbers represent the frets. And what the frets are, are these lines right here, going across. And so when I write in, say, the third fret, what I'm referring to there is this. So see how the line goes right through the number? Now, the other thing that I want you to know about is zero. So what the heck does zero mean? Zero means that we're gonna play an open string. So what I would do is I would just think of zero actually meaning open. Smoke on the water, let's get to it. Her very first note, a zero for open on the E string. So go ahead and play that note. And if you play this note right here, then you're right. So moving forward, we've got the third fret. Now this is all on the low E string, so we play the, the zero first, and then we play the third fret. So now if you go up to the third fret, we count these lines, right? So we go one, two, three, and there's your second note. So the first two notes of smoke on the water are like this. All right? The next one here is five. Boom, boom, boom. So, see if you can beat me to hit that. There we go. And 
Now here's the thing about tab. It does not tell you what fingers to use. Now I'm using my first finger, but I actually want you to use your third finger for this note. You just kind of have to put that to memory. So first three notes of smoke in the water. All right. And the cool thing here is it starts out the same for the next part. Now with an exception, of going to 6-5 instead of 0-3-5, the next time we got 0-3-6-5. I'll just play for you what that sounds like. All right. So we got 0-3-5, 0-3-6-5. Now, moving forward, we go back to 0-3-5. So that's super easy to remember. Okay, and so we've already covered that. And then for the finale, we've got a three. I'm just gonna extend this line a little bit to zero. So let's check it out. One, two, ready, go. on that, watch those fingers, make sure that you're using your third finger on the fifth fret, and that's your very first guitar riff to start this program off right. Hey, I hope you got something out of today's lesson and get your fingers moving on something new and something cool that helped you with your guitar playing. Now moving forward, I've got this entire guitar system called Five Minute Guitar and it's valued at a hundred bucks. I wanna get it to you for free. What this is, is it's a step-by-step -step beginner guitar system that takes the total utmost absolute beginner all the way through like strumming chords, bar chords, single note riffs, playing rock and roll techniques, um, learning all the must know scales, and just playing awesome, cool, classic songs. And just getting all those skills together so that you can like play this thing. And guitar, it can be really difficult, especially getting some of those basics down, um, especially strumming chords and switching between chords smoothly. So I wanna get you access to this system and it's really powerful and I know you're gonna get a ton out of it. And again, totally on the house and totally for free. All you have to do is follow the directions on this video screen. There should be a link somewhere that you can click. I'll take you over to campfireguitarstar.com. Also make sure that there's a link in the description below. All you have to do, meet me over there. I'll get you access to everything. And it's as simple as that. In the meantime, subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave a comment below. And we'll take care of you, man. We'll get you ripping on this guitar thing and getting you playing all your favorite songs and styles. So until the next video, keep on ripping it up. Check you later.